Reckless Concussive Shot's going to fly in and just look at the damage. Flea. I mean, he's going to try to run. It's There's really just no way out. Speed. He'll secure first blood on the visage. And my goodness, Flea, he just he can't do anything about it. Like, you don't have any raindrops either. And even if you zap Babbage, oh, he swashbuckled on the spot. He's going to try for the Rolling Thunder back towards Stominant. But Kids is moving in, trying to get those final right clicks off. Babbage, he's forced to get the hell out of there. Meanwhile, Stominant will ferry fire and will survive another day. Kids still on the chase, has another shards in just a moment. There's going to be a snowball out. Babbage will get the double damage, but it's Ooh. not going to be enough. That was risky. Like, he, he risks his life for the Skyrath kill. Yes, they do find the Skyrath in the end, but it's not worth the mid pay. Well, you've got the Exo ready to go. We are seeing Babitich work his way down bot. So he could try to go for a little bit of a gank on DNM and try to go for the kill if they get the control here. But DNM knows something, Sa. They had a, they had a ward in the river, so they know the rotation's coming in. Kids, he's going to find Arc top lane. This is a real problem. Like, he might get caught now, and hopefully, at least for Wildcard, he does. Kids, he's a tanky, tanky boy. He has Snowball. He'll go for the shards, but won't make it out. The thing is, though, he does find that Terror Blade, who's already just not having a game. Like, they just comfortably infiltrate that dire jungle. They'll try to hunt down the Visage. Speed is backing off the right moment, but still getting a little bit greedy for that farm. In they come with the Rolling Thunder, but no, they miss the initial stun. They'll move in with the Cookie. Speed still copying a fair bit. Surely goes down. No, he gets the stuns off. Oh, oh boy. boy. And Speed is juking and jiving. Mortimer's Kisses will do nothing. They call him Twinkle Toes on that Visage, John. <laughs> he, he sure was uh, quite flexible for quite a fair bit of time. Sunlight, not again. Sunlight, it just happened. He's going to be all right. They won't make the jump in yet, but kids, no, he moves around. He was just waiting. He found the Rubik first. Flea, almost down, but there's your Guardian Grievous again, giving them a bit of sustain with the Mortimer's Kisses. Maybe they can force a good team fight. Kids, he does go too far. Speed now in pretty big danger, blocked by his own shards. Will drop to boot. In fact, that was Flea's shot blocking them off. So Wildcard, they finally find a crack in the armor of five rep. Yeah, they, they make it into the defendo. Respawns are fairly short here. And it is. Tier 1 mid tower. Dropping fairly quickly. Wildcard, got to be careful not to get punished for this. Shards will block their way. Overgrowth will hold them down by Albino. Kids is going to rush in. Ooh, Arc's Arc. the target. Arc, he gets silenced up. He needs some help, but he's down. Maybe they can punish. They could try. Sunlight. Oh, look at this. Look at this. He's surrounded. Oh, my God. Sunlight can't move. He'll TP out. He'll be all right. Sammy, in the meantime, though, won't be so all right. He'll be chased down himself on the, on the snap fire. Sure, drop his kids. is looking for a little bit more. They won't find him. That was quite a beautiful kind of uh, ice surround. Oh, that should be yeah. a new spell. Yeah. I, I, we've never... So it's really hard to actually get in there uh, with that vision standing in the way. Oh. Jump in. Snowball. Going to connect. Kids has his own BKB now. He'll just rush right forward. Sammy in trouble. Will be okay to back off his Sunlight. He's the one that's very, very forward right now. But look at the damage. DNM just takes him out. And now with oh. the Overgrowth, the hold down Babbage. He'll eventually start rolling once again. It seems like they want the Tusk and they'll find the Tusk. A one for one. Not too bad of a trade whatsoever for Wildcard. But they will still give Reg the... Coming out next for Ark. They are just really ensuring that Ark does have that capability to carry them through. And, you know, it's shaping up that way. Oh. Ready a triangle. Sammy. Get four stuff back to the low ground. He's going to be okay. Babbage going to try and move in here with the Rolling Thunder. And Ark also popping the Metamorphosis. They will find Stominan. They'd love DNM, but he's going to be keeping and just run his way out. Kids, meanwhile, being slowed down to a crawl with an Eye of Skadi. Albino Zebra drops as well. Kids, he will be able to blink out in time on the Tusk, but Ark, now with the meta popped, might go high ground. The problem is they don't have a creep wave. An opportunity, though, for Five Rat. Double smoke on Kits and Staminen. They can still burst heroes down. At least these supports if they do manage to pin them down here. Samson. Get caught out. Kids just trying to blow him up as soon as possible. Mystic Flare should get the job done, but Sammy's actually quite tanky now. In fact, turning around and fighting back, they rupture him up, and Sammy finally drops, but he's going to buy back immediately. In goes DNM after Sunlight, but he's caught out by the Lift of Flea, and now he's in huge trouble. DNM can knock it out. Oh boy. 
That is not good news whatsoever for Five Rat, as they are still going. Sammy God, man, morphs this once more. Buyback already forced out from Kits. They can get it done, but you can see how difficult it is to just drag Ark back. There's just so many ways to save him. It's not easy. Uh, sneak around here. I'm going to try something. What they got, Stomin already dropping. Speed trying to do the absolute best he can, but needs to back the hell out of there. It is not a good team fight at all for the side of Five Rat. Babbage barely getting away from Kits as well. Nothing going the way of the Radiant. The Speed eventually will just drop. Albino Zebra is able to blink out, but the chase is on. Wildcard, they smell blood in the water. They want more. And this game, it, it might... Tools available. They can just keep this push going. They've got to seriously misplay to kind of get caught out here. Babadich being chased down. Kits will be there with the Walrus Punch. Babadich still just playing around with them, though. Not really in too much danger. DNM trying his best to get some form of damage out, but there's nothing. Mega Creeps are up. Five Rat 4 stuff, they will not call it yet. But it's happy defense time. And that's never fun. No, it really isn't. GG. Ah, they call. Yeah, fair enough. enough. Fair enough. I, I can get the sentiment. It's a hard game to kind of pin down Ark. And Ark, he had a pretty slow start. But again, they just enable him on the side of Wild Card to get that build up. Like, uh, Tusk can kind of dodge out with Snowball. So it's not the simplest aspect for Tiny. But I do feel like Tiny tends to get a little bit more out of that lane. Ooh, please. yeah. Talk about getting a lot out of the lane, John. Here, Flea already securing first blood onto Albino Zebra, and that's something you never really want to see if you are... Just go for your wave clear, your relocation, and try to hope for the best there. They are chasing Albino Zebra. Nice, uh, nice little shards there from Babbit. It's just going to block the way. Albino, I mean, he's a tanky boy with the living armor. Maybe he could hope for Roshan to deny him off. He's still going to try. Babbit, though, no. Going to body block him off, and Flea will get the job done. That'll make it a 3-2. to two. The way of wild card and suppose the one saving grace is please been I've had that experience, so let me tell you. Sammy's team is reacting a lot better than I would, if that was me. Uh, well, it's one thing when you miss it, Mike. It's another thing when a pro team does. So uh, different layers of expectations here. This time around. No. No. What? No, no, that's no, three in a row. No, kids, he's still gonna drop, but you sacrifice you sacrifice Babadich for that. Ah, oh, that's that's just nasty, you know. It's nasty. It's not See, they have great burst potential with that Mystic Flare with the Avalanche Toss combination. Speed just going to front line, more than happy to try and bait for his team. Has the full Greaves up and just wants the T1 mid tower. Ooh, Arc. Uh oh. Yeah, they've got the Ursa. That's the one you want. Sammy tries to help with an arrow, but it's not going to be anywhere near enough. The cavalry is incoming. They'll try to find some form of a trade here. At least catching the Skyrath. And now with the RP, they've got speed. But he is way, way, way too tanky. That is not the target you want. And now Kits. Great avalanche. Sammy's gone. Babadich has gone to boot. Five rat four staff. Making it look very easy so far for game number two. Yeah, I mean, they, they play really defensively on wild card. They didn't want to go around that area. After checking Roshan, it was empty. They probably figured maybe a smoke gank was coming out. Cost them a Roshan in the Are end. Are trying for speed? speed? All right, let's see if they can find him. RP committed. There's your exorcism wearing off. Speed will go down very quickly thanks to the RP setup. But here comes the cavalry. Stomin gets set up with the slow into the toss back. The Mystic Flare kind of wasted, but it may not matter. Arc dropping so low on the Ursa. But somehow he is still running, still getting out of here. But Stomin's on the chase. They'll settle for sunlight. The concussive shot goes back the other way. Arc, he will survive. Ooh, on the edge there for Ark. Repeat Fair. performance here in game two. It's mid lane. They might have a chance now as they do need to defend. Problem is there is an Aegis still up on DNM, which is going to make it rather oh. tough. In they go. Tossback is there. They found the Tusk Babadich. He's still running. He might know. He doesn't make it. They even found the Magnus. So Sunlight is gone. There goes Sammy. They are just getting blown up in that mid lane. There's nothing they can do about it. They at least find a kill on Kits. Ark just meant DP plus Lena. Doesn't take too long to melt these objectives. They still have an RP play. They've got the blink here on Sunlight if he does manage to find the angle. Sunlight, nice one. Toss into the steel back, into the RP as well. Just really wanting DNM. He barely survives. 
Ooh. We'll stop away, but Ark gets the job done. They even found our Albino Zebra. Maybe they can keep this one going. Stominant, he at least finds Sammy Boy in the meantime, but his team is falling apart. Speed, drag back as well. The Magnus saving the day for Wildcard. And Speed, still trying to back, but hold on a minute. Ark's getting low. Ark might drop. Ark barely able to get out of there. Speed, getting Warriors punched up. Still trying to chip away at the Death Prophet, but he's just so darn tanky. A snowball forward, a skewer back from sunlight. Speed is not getting out this time. And there it is, Jonathan. Wildcard. They have found the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, they get that relocation. They kind of need to just keep doing that. If DNM's a little bit too far forward, feeling overconfident, you've got the tools to punish. You've got the damage on hand. They do. Wildcard now grouping up once again. Albino Zebra. He's the one in the Roshan pit at the moment. Do you want to settle for the Treant? It seems like they will. Roshan still 35 seconds away from respawning. We'll see if they can find anything else here for Wildcard before they do try to force the Roshan fight. T1 mid tower is still standing after all, so they may as well. Ark will get to it. Meanwhile, rest of the team will move in. They have found the Death Prophet. Babadich does get the Warriors Punch. Still speed. He cops an arrow to the face. Can he get out of this one? He's healing up. And RP though. Sunlight. He'll catch a couple. DNM's one of those targets. But DNM, he'll force stuff out of there. Back to the low ground. Maybe they're okay, but no, that's Snowball. DNM. He is not going to make it. Can they at least punish Wildcard? It seems like they'll try. Ark will just TP out though. Oh, just TP. Yeah, they, they don't have control. That Albino Zebra just, just blinks in himself. Very, very strange Roshan <laughs> fight there from Wildcard. And in we go. Into the mid-racks they go. Speed. Hits. Oh. Avalanche tosses there. Flea will be the one to get caught. Leibniz will lock him down. Still, the Rubik is running, but instead they'll take down Sammy Boy. Meanwhile, Kit's dropping very low, but so is Babbage on that mid-task, trying to run, but Speed will chase him down to the ends of the earth. Ark cannot fight without his team. He'll get stunned up. In goes Sunlight. The four star forward. They have messed up again. DNM's gone. Oh, this mid racks It is torturing the side of Five Rat. He's still moving with a snowball now. Can Five Rat continue to punish? Ark, he'll move it on to Kits. That'll be your mid-tiny gone. It's up to speed on the Death Prophet, but speed's getting bashed up. He'll chase down Babbage on that task, but can he really do it? I don't think he can. He'll get lifted up. They are still snowballing around. Speed's the only one left. Oh, my goodness. And the worst part is, the worst part is the guy with the Aegis is the guy that survives. Alpino runs out of there. Ah, uh, Tiny, which really isn't too bad. In this game, particularly, not too bad. Do it for the brand, kids. You've got to do it. <laughs> kids, speaking of the devil, he may get punished for not going for four stuff here, John. Getting caught out. He does have his team around him, but there's your four stuff. He's facing the wrong way. Skewer him up. Take him out. That's what you get. Still, Sammy is going to die back immediately. DNM will take him down. In goes speed now. Chasing down the USA arc. Enrages up and will run. Meanwhile, Sunlight will skewer them back a little bit, but DNM is happy to get right to work. Still a nice lift back from Flea. Will save the day. Four staffs away. Glimmer Cave. Sunlight still glaping it up. Will not make it out. Two for the price of one, I believe it was. At the very least, they do force the buyback of Kits. Only problem for Wildcard is Roshan. I rat just a tad bit. But they've both got ways to play still. Interesting position, Wildcard, trying to hold the high ground for a fight here in the triangle. They absolutely are. Five Rat. Well, speed will cop an arrow to the knee. In goes Kits. Nice toss back onto Sammy, and that's him gone. But Sunlight, oh. a very nice horn toss skewer back. Do they have an RP? They do. It's connected on two of them. But where's the damage output? It's coming. But no, the snowball back away. Babbage dragged Ark out of there. I suppose they decided the fight wasn't worth it. It didn't look that bad, though. High ground, but not quite. He does blink away. Meanwhile, mid, Sammy is in the middle of nowhere, getting some wards down. Moonlight Shadow Pop, but there's your tree volley. Four stop. In fact, Overgrowth. Gonna hold down a couple thanks to Flea. They've got speed. In goes the oh. Ursa. The RP! It's gonna catch a couple of them, but do they have the damage output? Oh, he'll chase down DNM, and there's your bash up. He's got the leaner. And the kick away. DNM's going nowhere but down. He has oh. to fight. Free volleys though. Ark? They're coming in, safe. Ark. He is not safe at all. He's caught out and he is gone. 
buyback immediate from DNM. They want to put a lid on this game. Bavidich is fine to TP away. But Wildcard, they are going to have to buy back. It's really hard in killing off DNM, but you have no answers for speed. Like, this guy is just too tanky, and once he has the blink up, he can just jump on top of you and get that instant hex off. Albino Zebra. Oh, jumps in. He wants to try and go for something here. So will Kits, but they're going to lose Albino straight off the bat. Still, Babbage almost going down to DNM. Should eventually drop and does, but gets a Warrus Punch off first. Now the Skewer back right into the loving arms of Ark. But can he hold them down? The four staffs are just too much to deal with for this Ursa. Oh, God. And now the fear is there. Ark has died back. That's got to be it. GG surely has to be called. They are still trying. Kits has been RP, but they call it. They cannot fight back. There's no damage left. And what a game it was, 5 rat 4 star. Having a comeback here in this game, number 2. And that does mean we get another game 3. Oh, very close to dying. One more hit will do it, and the Wild Axes will get it done. Ark does eventually find a trade. Our Bio Zebra. <laughs> well, you know, John, when someone's having a bad series, you know how you make it worse? Top lane, Sunlight and Flea are around the corner. Sunlight looks to be the target here on the uh, snap fire, but they're the ones actually moving in. They're trying to go for a kill on DNM, but there's four heroes up here. Babadich, he's going to rotate as well. DNM, he might be the one to go down. Sprouts up. Ooh. They do cut through it, and eventually they will find him. Sunlight does die, but it's a great trade so far. Full wild card. Can Babadich get out though? He's out of remnants, but he does have one in the mid lane. So he's going to be all right. And for Fire Rat, that's going to hurt. You lose your pause one for a position three, and you brought one extra hero up to that top lane. They might try again. Chase down Flea. They've still got kids around, but in come more TPs. This time Sunlight going to return back into the lane. In comes DNM, trying to help out Flea. A great Cox pushback from Stormin, and Flea should go down to the Tusk eventually, and will do so as Sunlight now might have to wait, make the Walk of Shame back, and it seems like he will. Five rat. Sometimes you just gotta be persistent. And that they were. Yeah, they stick around a lot for that fight. It does give a lot of five rat. This lineup is geared for ratting. They've taken the top tier one, but you really want mid to be gone to have control here. Mid lane, kids. Snowball's gonna land. Flea is there. Should have the walrus punch to throw out, but no, he's only level five at the moment. Kits still dropping very low, but there is the save from Stominan. Mortimer's Kiss is even being thrown Ooh. out. Oh, it's barely going to be enough. Sunlight making it worth the rotations. As they chase for more. They do find Stominant. Two down in the mid lane. Four, five, rat, four star. And now Speed. Speed's being chased down by Ark. Speed gets caught out and he's going to drop. Yeah, it's, it's not the way you'd want this game to go for five, rat. Early activity already out from Ark. They're going to line up for the mid. They're the one DP that was really left alone. Number two in net worth. Number one in net worth in some cases for a long time in that game. This time around, his his Beastmaster is just struggling behind even Sunlight. Might find a little bit here. Yeah, Stominant going to get caught. Ark very farmed up right now, and so is Babadich. And eventually, Babadich, he'll take it in style. Just waiting for the side of his to be off cooldown. That'll be his fourth kill of the game now on the Ember. Meanwhile, top bottom lane, Sammy being chased down. There might be a tipping coming for Sammy. He will drop. In comes Babbage to try and punish, though. And if they can find kids, this will be a massive trade for them. But a raw comes out. Speed is going to try and force the fight, but they don't have. They will get away scot free here, Wildcard. Sure, they don't find what they wanted, but at the very least, they don't lose too much. And they might find more. Stominin gets rolled on, gets the cogs out in time. Sunlight has a cookie in one, and it won't matter anyway. They'll land the chains out. Sammy's there to back him up, and Stominant's going to drop. In fact, even more. Albino Zebra gets spotted here by Babadich. Gets the chains off. Where's the backup for this Ember? It's coming. Shards are there. Albino, he's got nowhere to go. He is dead. Babadich, an absolute <laughs> menace <laughs> on the Ember and Sammy. An absolute menace with the tips. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Uh, <laughs> is around to break the smoke. So good positioning from him to make sure that nobody else gets caught out. Cogs, hook shot away. Probably still won't make it. Babadich is on the chase. Ice Path will delay them a bit, but now Albino Zebra's shown himself, so it might be a two-for-one special. And it will be. 
There's one. There's a second. Sometimes it, it's just better to let the clockwork die. Yeah, it's... They don't really have much to... Could be. See if Ark can get some lucky and snares off. No, not through the cogs. He can't. Bottom lane. Speed. Trying to go for a roar. They have the rolling thunder. They'll commit the roar as well, but can they get the damage off? This will be a huge kill if Babbage drops, but no speed is gone first. Oh. And Babbage, he is fine. He gets out scot free. Kids will go down a boot. Oh, man. It's so tough. Oh, but hold DNM. Oh, DNM? He would at least get the Aegis. That's all you're going to get, though. Stop it. Quite as good as an Aegis Prophet Beastmaster combo. So wildcard, they're going to try and force a fight. Kits, he'll be targeted. Swashbuckle away, but the chase is still going. Speed is around to help out with the roar, and will commit it just to try and give a bit of space. In fact, they're going to turn right back around and try to force the fight. Stominant, he's been caught within his own cock, so he is going to drop. Meanwhile, Babbage will just keep going after Albino Zebra. That'll be the Jakiro gone. So both supports drop. Can they trade something? It doesn't seem like they can. They're still just lacking so much damage. Sammy can't quite just steal it away, and he can make a slow shove in onto that mid-tier one. They shouldn't be allowed to do this. Like, the fact that they're getting away with this is kind of concerning for wildcard. Sammy, he's gone. Can they punish? Roar is out. Ark will cop it. Stominant will hook shot away, but Babbage is on the chase. Speed will go down. Ark still chasing. We'll find out Bino Zebra, but a nice ice path will give him a bit of space to try and force stuff back to the low ground. But Speed, or rather Flea, will find the Walrus Punch. So they do get punished for their movement. The wild card not allowing any kind of leeway here with this mid T1 tower and about going T2s into high ground. Because you've got your side lanes you have to address. Yeah, the split push is causing some caution to come out. Stamina being chased again. He'll happily give his life away, though. That's the thing. It's all about buying time. So Stamina, he will die. But the top lane is now forced out to a point where Wildcard have split up. Though they are going to still try into the mid lane, but Kits is fine. For now, that is. The Ember does show up once again, and never mind. Kits might just drop. And does. Babbage. Thinking about going a little bit deeper, but will not do so. Yeah, just go for the push. Creep wave gonna come in. And Wildcard have that opportunity to just find more. They can't get Megas with a tier two standing bot, but the defense for five rats just doesn't feel like it's really there. Jump in, they do roar out the Ember. He's quite low on mana, so maybe they can finally take him out. The chase is on. Babadic finally goes Ooh. down. DNM got a lot of gold out of that. Can they keep it going? Flea's also being caught out. Ark is still trying to find speed, but speed just four staffs away. Still buying a bit of space for his team to try and back him up. He does finally go down, but Ark, he's dropping rather, rather low himself. He's out of mana now. He can't battle trans. Maybe they can deal with him with DNM, but Ark is still chasing underneath those tier four towers. He will find Kits. More buybacks to come as Stominan jumps in on his own. He will go down. Kids with the buyback. Still trying after Babbage a second time. Looking for that dieback on the Ember. But no. It, oh, oh. Back, never mind. They get the Ember. But they'll give Kids his life away, it seems, as Ark. We'll find the dieback himself. So two diebacks here in this team fight. One on either side. Both mid lane is going down. And it seems like Wildcard. DNM, meanwhile, still has a double damage rune active. So a bit of a scary situation, but Ark's going to make the jump in. Do they have the vision? DNM gets caught out, but he's in this. In goes Stominant. Roshan still going, but Kits is in the Roshan pit. Can he find the Aegis? It's on oh. the deck. Somebody oh. pick it up. Flea's got it, but Babbage just dropped. Babbage is down. DNM going for a bit more. We'll aim Sammy Boy, but no need to TP out. But the Bash is there, Ark. Ark is going to be there in time. Ensnares him up. Snowball is there. DNM surely goes down and does. But he has buyback. Babbage does not. So I don't know if Wildcard can force Rosha, uh, rather force high ground. For a few more. No roar. Although it will be back up in a few seconds. Yeah, these objectives will melt if Five Rat don't make a play. They're going to move in. Speed, he'll front line. Glyphs were forced out. Roar is there. They've got Sammy Boy in the edge. Not the biggest kill, but it's something to get them started. 
And Sammy Boy eventually going to drop us now. Oh. They found another. They've got the Pulse 3 Snap Fire. Sunlight. There is going to be a Tusk to try and help out Flea. He's happy to sacrifice his life because he's got that secondary life available. Ark's going to jump in. Stominum is maybe going to go down, but no, the Sprout. It's going to leash him in. Hold on a minute. Have they got the Troll Warlord? I what? think they do. Oh, Wildcard, what have you done? What have you done, boys? Oh, Sometimes no. you just need to run. <laughs> oh, and Sammy. Sammy might just drop another time. He just fought back. He's still going up against TNM, but there's nowhere to go. Holy. Oh, Tips okay. are coming out. John, what a wild card doing. It would be huh? massive. There is buybacks on Babbage, there's buybacks on Flea and on Ark. So they've got three heroes. In fact, never mind, the troll doesn't have buyback right now. He just bought out. Needs 180 gold for it, but they might catch him just beforehand. They'll start on Sammy. The Ench is immediately deleted. Ark's going to try and jump in with the Battle Trance. There's a leech out onto the Ember. So they go. They're trying after Albino Zebra. They might at least find the Jakira, but Ark. Ark, Ark's been caught out. Ark needs to run. The Troll Warlord, he might just drop it. He does. He is 60 gold away from buyback. Oh, oh they need him so bad. Damn. They need oh. him so bad for this fight. Sunlight. Yeah. Flea going to show himself as well. Kits will happily jump in. Hookshot Ooh. is there. Stormin and he's going to find the Tusk. It's just a support Tusk, but it's a great start. Kits will get to work. It's a bit of an awkward position for them to try and force the fight, but Flea is still getting caught out. There's a gobble up play to buy him a bit of time. And now, well, hold on a minute. He's stuck in the ditch. He oh, can't get what? out of there. Ark, he's going to get right to work. Kits, he's going to swashbuckle back to the low ground, but it won't matter. He is going to go down. They do have buyback and they'll commit immediately because DNM is being caught out. Ark is rushing towards the Nature's Prophet. Stominant going to try and stop them. DNM, he'll go for the leash with the Sprout, but the Shard's going to block his way. Now the chain's out. The Prophet's in trouble. DNM, he'll go for the man fight. There goes Flea. Maybe they can keep fighting. DNM, are you sure? The little friends are attacking DNM, but he'll TP back towards the base. Get a reset. It's a zero second cooldown, so they can just keep going. This Prophet, he'll be back to full HP in just a moment. But can they catch anyone else? It seems like they've got Flea for a moment. Here comes DNM again. He sees Sammy. Glaipni is going to connect. DNM might have his way with the inch, but the Glimmer Cape is going to buy a bit of time. Hook shot. They're going to find the pause three snap bar. Instead, oh, in fact, no. they found both of them. There was no spit out. Sunlight is gone. Sammy is gone as well. But you know what's not gone, John? Roshan. Roshan is back up. Perfect timing for Five Rat. They still have to keep an eye on their Ancient. It is in there quick. They can't allow this safety net to Babadich. come through. Babadich is trying to buy time for Ark to finish off that Roshan, but no Ark. He's going to try and join the team fight. Keep in mind, not many buybacks left here for Five Rat. This could be the team fight for Wildcard to put an end to this game, as they will try and find DNM. A big snowball out. That's our Bino Zebra gone. In goes the Robert Speed. is dropping low. DNM completely surrounded. Who do you aim, DNM? He is trying to aim just anybody he can, but he needs a way out, and he is dead. He'll buy back as well. Back into the team fight they go, but everyone on Five Rat are dropping like flies. Babadich, he's chasing absolutely everyone. Everyone, hands up. Stominant's got nowhere to go. DNM, he'll try and snipe the Ember. He's at least got one, but now he needs a way out. Babadich will buy back, back into the team fight. Ooh. The TP is there with the Glimmer Cape, and somehow five ran. They've lost three. You've seen enough. Oh, man. Uh-oh. How do you do it now, John? It's 2v5. It, it feels impossible. It In they go. Onto the Ancient. They'll sprout, but it won't be enough. Ark will get to work. There's a roar out. Speed, he'll go after Flea, but he's got no backup damage. He's just going to drop. No buyback available. It's just DNM. They can literally just focus the Ancient. There's no way to defend this. Wild card. It's been an absolute slugfest of a game, but it seems like they've finally done it as they are still <laughs> fighting. But GG is called. Tips are out to Speed. Speed will not get his revenge in this game three. Oh, boy.